Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're checking out an amazing video. Like I said it before, I'm going to check this out, but it took me this while, guys. Like it took me this long. Do why do we have to pray in Arabic? This is a question I really wanted to know. Like this is a question I want to know. I saw this video online. I was like, yes, perfect. I'm checking this out, guys. Let's get straight into this. One revert asks me, why do I have to pray in Arabic? I said, no. Prayer in English translates as a supplication, which is a dua. You can do that in any language you want, or you can even do it silently. Allah knows your supplication before you even utter it. But if you're talking of a certain set of actions and words known as salah, and you're translating it as prayer because there's no better word in the English language to bring it closer to your understanding than that is an act of worship to Allah that will happen in Arabic because Allah wants you, O oh man, to adjust yourself to understand the word of Allah and not to adjust the word of Allah for you, O oh man, to understand. So everyone who's a Muslim, you have to have invested in learning the Quran as is because your salah would not be valid unless you did that no matter how hard it is you can have reverted today by the evening they'll tell you at least memorize one chapter of the quran you say one chapter you say yes one surah surah al-fatiha will take you 20 minutes to memorize if you are dedicated max and it will take you a minute to recite surah al-falaq surah al-nas surah for example al-ikhlas Etc. These are short surahs. You are going to have to know some of the Quran off by heart. I ask you a question. Show me by raising your hands. How many of you memorize Surah Fatiha off by heart? Put up your hand. Please. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. All of us, no exception. I just wanted to prove a point. That means you've memorized the Arabic. Now, if I ask you, how many of you speak the Arabic language? Put up your hands, please. You see, very few, very few. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. Isn't that a miracle? A favor of Allah. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِن مُدَّكِرِ Allah says, we have made this Quran simplified. Not only to memorize, but to understand, to look into, to ponder over, to fulfill, to follow, to practice, all of it. Who is going to do it from amongst you? Guys, welcome to this end of the video, guys. And I have a lot of questions. I have a lot, a lot of questions. Like, I, I feel I have to raise my hand, but let's get straight into this. I'm going to take this step by step, guys. Please. This channel is for educational purpose and I want to learn and that is why I have this journey. So let's scrap that out now to the main question. First of all, he said every Muslim needs to pray. You need to pray surah. I think that's what he said. Pardon my pardon me if I didn't get it correctly. But he said you need to pray in Arabic. So is a prayer. That is, he said that is the closest translation, but I believe that if you want to pray, God knows your heart. And it's like, I don't know, I really can't say because I know you guys pray five times a day, but I don't know. It's like you guys, it's like, <clears throat> I don't want to bring it out so I can, uh, it will sound disrespectful, but I'm trying. So. It's like you guys have different things you see. Like maybe the first is Thanksgiving, second is worship. I don't know, but let's use the word prayer. Because me, my own understanding of prayer, prayer is communicating with God. So if you communicate with God five times a day, and me using my own language that I understand, I went to my comment section and I do read my comment section. Don't get me wrong, I read it. I saw some people, suppose I'm saying, I can actually speak Arabic like I can actually read Arabic but I don't understand it I just say it so I kind of it's kind of strange like I understand you are supposed to pray in Arabic but I feel it would be easier for you to pray in your language and this is where you need to work for 
journey now. I'm understanding gradually. So, okay. If you need to learn Arabic, but I won't say Arabic is the language of God. I, I will say Arabic is the language that people were speaking when Muhammad, peace be unto him, who was alive. Like that was where he found himself. So that was the language the Quran was written into. And translating the Quran, like the Quran is already translated. Like people have the English version of it and the Arabic version. So, and the Atra test itself. So if we are saying that, if the Quran is actually, it, it has been translated to English. So people can actually pray using the English form because it has been translated. And I know some people say when you translate something, some words are actually taken out of it or there is no right words to use. But I believe in understanding. When you understand this is why I'm supposed to pray. Like this is the meaning of the prayer. Like, I feel it can be explained and you with that explanation you know how to give that prayer to God because some people who are actually reverts and they don't understand the language you telling a person that has a God is supposed to be our utmost priority I understand but some people like me like you telling me to learn Okay, you're just asking me to learn the prayer and learn the Quran. It's like you're telling me to learn your Arabic. Like, it's kind of strange in the sense that it has been translated. Let me use the Bible, for instance. The Bible has been translated into thousands of languages. And I feel people from different tribes, different, they are able to understand the Bible based on the context. They are able to read the Bible, understand it, understand what it talks about in their own language. And... They're able to preach it out because they understand it. I'm not saying people who read the Quran don't understand. I'm not saying that. Like they're able to pray. I feel Christianity gives people that liberty for you to be able to pray in your own darling. I know my grandma, for instance, which is actually late now, but she she was converted to Christianity and she does not speak English. You get me? So her church actually made it possible for them to actually like be able to communicate with them with their own language with their own dialects and that kind of thing she was able to understand the bible and like she was able to understand it and pray in her own language like you can ask her to pray baby we're about to eat or we're in a gathering and she's, she's able to pray in her own language and we all understand what she's saying so i feel you telling people to like especially older people to like learn Arabic when it will be, I won't say it will be easier for them to use the language because you still have to learn it. It's something you still have to learn, but just that you're not learning it in another language. It's like you're learning another language and coming back to learn the meaning of the Quran. I feel this is too big. I wouldn't say stress, but it's hard. Like it's <coughs> I won't use the word hard in the sense that you're supposed to you're supposed to be able to give everything to God, but I just feel I've seen this time guys first.